Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. Um, Today, we're going to be talking about the difference between actually dating and being in a relationship, because I really don't think that people have been taught how to properly date. <laughs> um... And we actually talked about this with our teenagers on yesterday about dating and what they thought dating was and so on and so forth. But it amazes me how so many adults don't really understand what dating actually is and what it isn't. And, you know, sometimes because you're not using the proper terminology, it brings on confusion with the people that you're dealing with because... In your mind, you're thinking it's one thing, and then they're thinking it's something completely different. But before we get off into the live, I want to let you know that we have four new honeys in stock for men. Rhino, which is um, a popular pill that we carry. Rhino has come out with their own honey called Rhino Blue. And they, let me tell you, they came out with a bunch of ones. Rhino VIP and Rhino Gold. So, let's talk milligrams. Literally, all of the milligrams are the exact same. There's absolutely nothing different in the ingredients that I'm looking at. Okay? So, Magnum has come out with them a honey as well. Now, let me look at them compared to... When I tell you all of the ingredients are the exact same, they are the exact same. That's how I look at um, pills and I look at milligrams and what's different. So, basically, everybody that came out with their own honey, they're all the exact same strength. Nothing different in the strength. So, um, this is all for the men. The ladies, we still rocking with pink pussy. That's, that's our honey. All right. So now that you all have actually gotten on this live, um, and it's a good bit of y'all on here, good morning to everyone. The um, A message was sent to me, or um, like a, she was asking for advice. And she basically said, Miss Sharonda, I'm dating a man. And we are having so many baby mama problems. She won't let the child come around when I'm there. And she, re the, this is the baby mama, and she refuses to talk to me. And she is giving us all of these issues. And that's all she put. Now, when a person sends something to me, I have to take it for face value. And if you use the term that I'm dating a man, then I have to take it for what it is, that you're dating a man. If you said I'm in a relationship with a man, or I'm engaged to a man, or I'm married to a man, all of those things mean something completely different than dating so when you send it over and you say, I'm dating a man and we are having all of these baby mama issues, my response back to you is, sweetheart, we are not having any baby mama issues. He is having issues with his baby mama because he's only dating you. It's a difference. And as a mother... If Spencer was to go off and date different people, if it had if it if it didn't work out between us, I have no interest in meeting the women that you're dating. I don't want to meet them. Our children do not need to meet all of the people that you're dating. We only have an interest in meeting the people that you plan on keeping around that you're in a relationship with, that you are engaged to that you are married to. And me personally, I don't want to meet nobody unless you engage to them. 
that's my personal preference because to me, engagement means something. Engagement means that you're working to marriage. Marriage means that you're going to be around for a while. And I got to be able to communicate with you. But when you send it over and you say, I'm dating a man and we having problems, my job as a sexual health and wellness professional is to tell you, you are dating a man. Dating means that y'all are still getting to know each other. He don't need to have his children around you. He don't even know you. Why does he need to have children around somebody that he's trying to get to know? Make it make sense. So I posted it. And I posted it with my response. And this is the response that a lot of y'all said. Oh, she acting like that because they still fucking. Oh, she acting like that because um, she, she still want her family. And the thing is, everything that y'all said can very well be true. But the thing is, because you dating this man, it really don't even matter if they still fucking. Because y'all just dating. It really don't matter if she still want her family. Because y'all just dating. See, if it was something more, then he would have told you that you were his girlfriend, his woman. He would have put a ring on your finger and said, you my fiance. He would have signed the marriage license and said, you my wife. But none of those things have happened. So ladies, what I want you to do is learn how to take things for face value. Meaning observing what the situation really is and stop going into fairy tale la la land and creating your own narrative and accept the situation for what it actually is. If it's a if it's dating, it's dating. If it's a situation ship, it's a situation ship. If it's just a fucking relationship, it's just a fucking relationship. In other words, stop putting more into this stuff than what it actually is. See, when you dating a man and this man has children because you're dating him, this is what you're supposed to be doing. You ain't supposed to really care or not care if he got issues with his baby mama because those are his issues. What you're supposed to be doing is looking at how he's resolving. See, a lot of y'all go and y'all marry these people and they never showed y'all leadership skills. They never showed you that they had the ability to lead in any situation. That's why it's so hard for you to submit. But if you paying attention to how this man move, one thing we know about real men is real men ain't got time for drama. Real men ain't got time for um, disrespect on any level. And see a real man in that situation, all you got to do is sit back and watch how he move with his child's mother. That's very important. I'm going to sit back on this one. Real men that's having issues with visitation, they know how to go to the courthouse and file their paperwork for visitation. They know how to go to the courthouse and file their paperwork for access and visitation and custody and anything else that they need. See, real men ain't about to go back and forth with you and argue with you about their child. That they know how important it is for them to be in their life. Real men ain't about to go back and forth with you. Real men gonna go take their money and put it where it matters. And go ahead and secure them a lawyer. And go ahead and get them a court date. And they ain't about to go back and forth with you over text message. They ain't about to go back and forth with you over the phone. You ain't about to make it hard for them. They gonna put their fucking money where their mouth is. That's how real men move. That's how men move. They got uh, they, they have interest in being in their children's life when they mother's so say won't allow them to. Because see, what happens is a lot of people don't understand is just because you birth a child into the world, nobody has custody of the child. You just a domicile parent. But you don't have custody. So what a real man is going to do is let you know that this ain't just your child alone. And I'm going to be here whether you want me here or not. And I'm going to go to the courts and make it happen for myself. 
And if we got to meet up at the police station to do the exchange of the child, then that's what the fuck just got to happen. Because me and you can't work it out on our own. Because when I talk to you, I got to go back and forth with you on text message. And I got to go back and forth with you over the phone. And being that I'm a real nigga, I ain't about to go back and forth with you. The lady that's dating on the outside looking in, you need to be observing all of this. You need to see how he moves. You need to see if he one of the motherfuckers that's just like the just like the wind up in a woman ear yeah, all goddamn day about all their petty grievances and the shit that they can't figure out in their life. See, I don't want to hear a motherfucker whining in my goddamn ear all day about what ain't going right in their life. I want to see how you gonna resolve the 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 issue. I want to see some leadership. I want to see how you move. Because see, in order for me to submit to you, I got to know that you can lead. In order for me to submit to you, I got to know that you can handle some shit when it's going down. And that man that's looking at my YouTube, that is the reason why so many women have an issue with submitting. See, they don't have an issue with submitting when you're a leader. But when you show any signs of weakness and you show any signs that you can't handle situations when they come to you, we ain't going to submit. We're not doing it. We're going to keep them pants on. We're going to wear them bitches and we're going to be the one jumping on the phone. Let me talk to your baby mama. Let me straighten this shit out. Let me get her together. Let me, let me. And then she overstepping boundaries and you wondering why you and the baby mama got old salt ass relationship. Because his passive ass falling back, letting you handle it. And now you fighting and shit. And you a part of, you you fighting and going to court about a fucking child that ain't even yours. And you ain't even got a motherfucking ring on your finger. All you doing is fucking dating and all of a sudden you got all these fucking issues in your life that you ain't necessarily got to have because you don't understand that you just dating. This is how I talk to my children. See, when, the, way I'm, the, the way I'm explaining this to y'all, these are the kind of real life conversations I have with my children, my daughters. You ain't got no business being out there in conflict with nobody behind a motherfucking child that you ain't, that ain't, you ain't got nothing to do with. For what? Next week, you might not even be the pick of the fucking week. It might be somebody else next week. All you got to do is say the wrong motherfucking thing and all of a sudden, he ain't answering your calls no more. And now you got beef with a motherfucking baby mama, and you and this nigga ain't even together. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought y'all would see it my way. All these people that was on there, they still this here. They still that there. And he can, he can jump in all the pussy he want. You know why? Because he ain't with nobody. He just dating. That's what dating is. Dating is getting to know people. Dating is seeing how far you're going to let them go. That's what dating is. I'm going to get to know you and I'm going to see how far you're going to let me go. I'm going to test your boundaries about this 90-day rule that you say that you got. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm dating you. I'm trying to see what kind of woman you is. I'm, t I'm trying to see how much bullshit you're going to let me bring into your life. I'm trying to see if you're going to be the type of woman that put the fucking pants on and fix it and, and go handle my baby mama and I got two women out there fighting. I'm trying to see your boundaries, but see, let me tell you something, ladies. When you got boundaries, you're going to let him know, look, one thing I don't do is bullshit. So y'all work that out between y'all. And when y'all work it out, if you got your child and you want to visit and you want all us to go to the park and eat some crawfish or whatever, then that's cool. But I don't need to meet your baby mama, sweetheart. I don't ever need to meet your baby mama until we didn't establish what this is. Because as far as I'm concerned, we are dating. Y'all got to learn how to date the right way. And y'all got to also learn how to date more than one person at a time. I said it, I'm going to say it again. Y'all got to learn how to date more than one person at a time. Stop shutting other people down because you entertaining somebody. No, 
You let it be known from the beginning. Mr. Sir, I'm dating. I'm dating. Meaning, you ever, you ever seen a clothesline? Y'all, I got a blister on my mouth from how this crawfish. <laughs> you ever seen a clothesline? And how clothes be hung out on the clothesline? My grandpa say, this is what dating is. My grandfather told me this. Dating is hanging all the men out there on the clothesline. And you able to look at all of their qualities. And once you done looked at everybody's qualities, then you go pick the one you want. That's dating. That's dating. So to the young lady that sent me the message, baby, that ain't your battle to fight. That's his baby mama. That's his already made family. And if you're a wise woman and you see that shit starting off with all that bullshit like that, I'm the type of woman, I don't have bullshit in my life. I don't have drama in my life. I literally walk to the peace. And when I see you got bullshit going on, that ain't going to work for me. So what I learned too over the years is sometimes when you see women and they always got bullshit going on in their life, especially dealing with men, it's because them women like a certain love of bullshit too. They ain't got other shit going on. And they like a certain love of bullshit too. And that's what it is. All right, that's going to wrap it up for me, y'all. I didn't had a long morning. First of all, and I'm going to just say this here. When y'all beauticians, and this ain't talking about my stylist, Crystal, because Crystal is very professional and she does awesome work. But I recently contacted a local stylist that makes wigs because she put a wig up on her page and basically says she specialized in blondes. And y'all know I love blondes. Long story short, I sent over the deposit for my wig, but I knew that I was going to be busy for spring break and I paid her the rest of the money. In other words, I made my payment for my wig and I got my wig out the way. And it was a substantial amount of money. I ain't talking about no five, six hundred dollars for no wig. I'm, I'm talking about up there for this, this wig that I wanted for all of these different shades of blondes. Or whatever for this woman to send me a message this morning basically to tell me that the dye is discontinued. The colors that she used on the other wig is discontinued. And my whole thing is, sweetheart, look, I paid you for a specific look. I ain't pay you for a similar look. I paid you for a specific look. Because I want I paid for what I wanted. Meaning that you put that price tag on there and I paid it because I was willing to pay for what I wanted. This woman then literally got out the motherfucking box with me this morning. About I'm just not trying to pay her for a wig. And I explained to her, baby, you paid in full. I paid you. A, in other words, my wig wasn't due until April 13th or something like that. And you was paid uh, March 13th because I sent the last payment in Dallas. You was paid a month ago in full. Meaning I don't owe you nothing. And all you owe me is the product that I asked for. That's all you owe me. Oh, I'm going to contact PayPal because I just feel like you ain't trying to pay. Baby, I didn't pay you. The problem is you letting me know it's a possibility that you can't deliver what you advertise. So we're going to see how this shit go. Because she's supposed to be. She, in other words, she said she don't even want me to come to her shop locally here in Baton Rouge. She don't even want me to come to her shop. She said she's going to mail a wig to me. We're going to see how this go. Because one thing I know is the court system, because I done worked in it. And one thing a bitch like me know how to do is go down there to the city courthouse, to the, to the city, city hall, and file for small claims. Because when you're dealing with wigs and units and all of this other stuff that people pre paying you for because you say that this is what you can deliver, and I don't care if you're watching it, ma'am, if you say that this is what you can deliver, at whatever point you decide that you can't deliver what a person that paid you for, the only thing you can do is give them their money back. 
I don't care if you don't audit the hair. I don't care if you don't put the unit together. I don't care because guess what? I could go next door to Brittany and get a motherfucking wig if I want a wig. I could go to Crystal, my stylist, and get a wig if I want a wig. I came to you because you specialize in color. That was the only reason I dealt with you and spent the type of money that I spent because you specialize in color. So if you can't give me all these different hues of blondes that you advertise, the right thing for you to do is give me my money back, Nisha. Hot boss. Hot boss look. Whatever, whatever your business is. That's what you're supposed to do. So I'm going to wait on my wig in the mail. I'm going to wait on it. I'm going to wait on it. I just pray that it's what you advertise. Y'all enjoy y'all day. Oh, y'all know I'm still rocking Gary's shirt. Gary lost the race by 1,500 votes. But guess what? I'm still rocking with Gary. I'm still rocking with Gary Chambers. All right, child. Be blessed.